Chris, uh, good to meet you. Um, I guess the first question is for those who maybe don't know about The Hole, could you explain yeah. what it's about and who you play in it? Yeah, um, The Hole in 3D follows uh, these two brothers who move from New York City to this small town in uh, suburbia, and I play the older of the two brothers, Dane. And the basic storyline is they find this hole in their new house and they try to explore it and figure out what it is. And in the process of doing so, it seems to have unlocked their worst fear. Mm. Cool. And Joe Dante's a director. Uh, yes. And many of his films kind of, they have a young cast in them, I guess. So yeah. Is it good working with him as a young actor because he has this experience of like game? Yeah. I mean, that working with Joe Dante was one of... Uh, the most amazing things uh, for me just about being in the hole and mm. um, just kind of getting to feed off his experience and his knowledge as a director was was amazing. Cool. Uh, you, I guess you were born a little after kind of Gremlins and Explorers yeah, and that kind yeah. of thing, but did you kind of still grow up with his films and, and see this? When you yeah, I, um, I, you know, I've seen the Gremlins and I actually just saw The Burbs the mm. other day. <laughs> It's, it's a good movie. <laughs> cool. Is there a favorite you have out of all of them? Cool. Um, well, I mean, Gremlins was, Gremlins was good. I really liked the Burbs, actually. I thought, um, I thought it was really funny. And it was cool because it was, it was kind of like a scary, freaky movie, but at the same time, it was really funny. It had a lot of laughs. Cool, cool. And um, what kind of challenges as well does filming in 3D present? I mean, do you have to act a bit differently? Do you maybe don't go so over the top? or? Yeah, like I mean... Um, I think as far as acting, um, it's about the same as in uh, normal, just kind of 2D films. Uh, it's not it's not that different because, you know, you're still interacting with the character, you know, you're still mm -hmm. having a normal conversation, you're still kind of thinking the same thoughts uh, that you would as if you were in a normal scene in, in 2D. Um, the only difference is the camera is bigger, basically. <laughs> um, you know, they had, uh, they we shot it in actual 3D, it wasn't a conversion. So we had um, two cameras, one kind of facing out this way and then a like a little mirror and then another camera coming down on top mm -hmm. of it. So it was a really big camera, but it was cool. Cool, and, and how kind of difficult was it filming when you actually go down the hole? Do you, do you get to see much of that stuff that you're kind of walking through and things like that, or was that added in later? Yeah, it was, um, it was really cool. There's uh, basically, there's two things that we did with the hole. We had one set where the hole was kind of out in front of us and it was over our shoulders in the basement kind of thing. And then we actually built like a really, really tall set, mm. um, which was the camera was on the ground and then we would just climb up to the top of this like cliff type thing and then we would like look over the edge and then it played as if we were looking down the hole and the camera was like really far um, in the hole. So it was uh, really cool. cool. And how did you guys get along together as a cast? Because you're kind of a, a big family in the film. You, you like yeah. that in life and stuff. Yeah, we got together really well. Um, me and Nathan especially just kind of hit it off right away. Uh, after we found out that we had been cast as brothers, we, <laughs> we decided to take a little bonding time together and uh, it was really good. And Haley. You know, she's awesome. She fit right in, and mm. we got along great. Cool. Uh, each of the characters has to confront a fear as well. Uh, I'm wondering, yeah. did you have any childhood fears or stuff or things that kind of frighten you a little bit? Um, yeah. Um, one thing that I'm really afraid of is uh, getting caught by the cops doing something illegal, <laughs> you know, like spending a night in jail. Um, I'm just kind of really really afraid of, of what might happen if I were to do something bad, which I guess is a good thing because it's kind of, um, you know, it's kind of incentive not to do anything, <laughs> not to speed down the highway. <laughs>